Hey what's going on people, Bearfox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys what are the best settings to optimize and get better performance in Genshin Impact. And I know a lot of you guys play this game and I have received ton of requests to make a video on this game. So here in this video today, I will be going through the best settings, optimizations, FPS packs and in-game settings to fix all of your FPS troubles in the game. Also. If you guys live in far server region, then I'm also going to be showing you guys how to fix ping issues over here and optimize your latency to get better gameplay experience. So make sure to stick around till the end and also thanks a lot for the tremendous support you guys have been showing on the channel. We have it 35,000 subscribers and we are just 15k away from 50k subscribers. So consider hitting that red subscribe button down below. I can see 96% of you guys aren't yet subscribed to the channel. I believe in you guys. Let's hit 50k together and let's roll the intro. The really first thing that you need to do, which I always prefer you guys, is to create a restore point. So once you search for create a restore point, you'll be going to system properties. In here, you'll have to go to local disk C, which says system over here, and then click on configure, and make sure the turn on system protection is enabled, click on OK, and click on create, name it Genshin, and then click on create. As I said, this is just a failsafe method. If anything goes wrong or your PC cannot handle any file, you can always restore it back to its original state where nothing had happened. So your PC will eventually come to this point where you have created a restore point. Well, once you're done with that, simply search for graphic settings over here and you'll be going to the settings panel in your device. And I know a lot of you guys, I have already told this in my previous videos but you have to come over here in graphics and then over here click on browse and then go to your desktop where you have the genshin impact in this folder you have to go to the genshin impact game and then select the application over here hit add and you guys will see the game in here simply click on option and then go to high performance and then click on save also go to browse then go one folder back and then also add launcher over here and then click on add and then go to options and then go to high performance and then click on save this will allow your gpu to be utilized while playing the game so all the strain will be gone to your gpu so if you have a gpu or intel hd graphics this will reduce the stress on your cpu allowing you to get much better fps once you are done with the graphic settings next thing i recommend to you guys is exit lag and you guys know i always recommend exit lag for ping related or latency related issues exit lag is pros choice and it has a list of over 250 games to choose from simply click the link in the description below and then download the free three days trial and then once you are in exit lag you'll be going to a screen similar to this once you have signed up for this application simply go to search and over here search for genshin impact and over here add this then also select the region for me the nearest region to me is over here singapore one and then you guys can see this will be the estimated ping that you'll be getting in game check on these two options over here and then click on apply routes now as i said this will get you much faster internet connection this will reduce your ping drastically and allow you to play in a very very optimal way but again exit lag comes with a price which you guys can get the subscription now exit lag has three subscription levels the first one is monthly subscription then you have semi-annual subscription and you have quarterly subscription so if exit lag helps you in any way consider purchasing exit lag and use code bearfox20 at your first purchase to get flat 20 percent discount on any of these so make sure to decide wisely because this is just a one-time offer nextly is download the genshin impact fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this in the description below also if the link doesn't work for you guys consider joining my discord server over here you have the fps packs section where i leave the link to all of the fps packs which i use in my videos you guys can simply download it from here once you have downloaded the fps pack simply open it up and you'll find it in two files the first one is for optimizations and in here you have game optimization so once you're over here simply just run Genshin Impact High Priority and uh, 
This will prioritize your Genshin Impact to run much faster. Then go back to optimization folder and then go to registry optimization and over here you have all of these registries simply run them this will disable the game DVR allowing you to get instant FPS boost this will increase your CPU priority this will lower input lag and boost FPS this will optimize your PC and this will reduce lag if you think these files are fishy simply right click and then edit them to see what are the changes they are going to make. And again, if all of this doesn't work for you guys, you can always revert the settings back to normal over here. Once you're done with the optimizations folder, the second one is the programs folder. And in here, you'll find an MSI mode utility v2. Simply run it. And if you see an error like this, make sure to run it as administrator. Now, once the app opens up, you need to search for your GPU. Here is mine. Simply from undefined go to high and then click on apply. This will prioritize your GPU to run much faster. Then once you're done with all of those things, the last step is going to control panel and over here search for power and then go to power options. In here, make sure that you are using high performance or ultimate performance if you have it. Once you are done with all of those steps, log into your game and then follow the in-game settings. Alright, so once you've opened up your game, press your escape key and then go to settings over here. Then go to graphics and then for the graphics quality and under here in the custom you'll find VSync and it's always set to on. Just make sure to keep it off and for the render resolution, I highly recommend you guys to go for 0.8. For shadow quality, go for lowest. For visual effects, go for lowest. SFX quality, you guys can keep it high. SFX is nothing but your sound quality environment detail go for lowest and you have to restart your game as it says anti-aliasing should turn this thing off volumetric fog should be turned off reflections should be turned off because it consumes a lot of your gpu uh, motion blur you guys can turn it off it's not needed and bloom um, it's upon you guys it's a personal preference uh, if you guys like the enemy to be marked turn on bloom bloom makes uh, things come out shiny so you guys can keep it on or off whatever you want it doesn't matter crowd density keep it low because this will consume less memory and co-op team is uh, effects you can keep it on and for subsurface scattering you guys can keep it medium and anisotropic filtering should be set to 1x these are the best in-game settings also uh, if this thing doesn't help you guys then uh, you always have the display mode uh, over here you can always uh, change your display mode and you can downscale it I'm having a 1080p monitor and it says it's 1920 by 1080p windowed but you can also go for 720 by 756 windowed this will reduce the amount of RAM your PC is using because the lower your resolution is the higher your performance is so you guys can try lowering the resolution and and once you're done with that, you guys can see uh, your game looks uh, pretty good even now. So guys, I hope this video has helped you out. And if it did, make sure to do leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, do let me know if this worked for you guys in the comments below. I'll be replying to all of your comments. I'll be giving a heart to everyone who comments below this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.